All right, guys, we're going to go over meshing out an object. So first, let's start off with a NURBS sphere. Here we are. Let's rebuild it and give some geometry to it and some form. Let's type on points on, and let's make it kind of wacky and uh, a little crazier, uncontrolled, which we don't want for your your work. Let's give it some kind of weird forms. Okay, now let's rebuild it once more. Smooth it out slightly. All right, this looks good to me. Let's hit in smooth. There we go. All right, so now we got kind of a wacky form. So, for 3D printing and some CNCing, which you guys will learn later on, you need to have a mesh. A mesh is made up of triangulated little surfaces that take over the NURB surface. NURB modeling has absolutely smooth and rounded surfaces. So, to mesh out a NURB surface, we go over to Mesh from poly surface. So right click on that and we get a dialog box up here. Typically in 3D printing you want to go with more polygons. So let's just hit OK. As you can see nothing changed. But there is, if you select it, a mesh surface behind it. Let's just move that over. So if I go to display, let's just look at my mesh wires. So meshes have triangulated surfaces so the computer can actually calculate them a lot better. Each one of these panels is made up of triangles that are seamlessly flat. Now the beauty of meshes is we can reduce the resolution and for rendering to make realistic images, the computer actually has an easier time calculating sunlight off of the mesh surfaces over NURBS. NURBS has endless amounts of infinite lines and uh, sunlight rays coming off of it. So again, let's select our object, hit mesh. Let's go for a mid-range resolution. And let's move that over. Now we can see some more triangulations because the resolution's much less. Not quite getting as smooth of a shape as we are over here. Now let's do it once more at the lowest. It's so low that it's hard to select. So now we can see that these are flat. So the resolution has been really, really lost from our high mesh to our low mesh. Now, let's do a reduce mesh command. So a lot of 3D printing only takes about, some can take about 3 million faces of a mesh, some can only take about 300,000. So to compensate for that, you might have to type in reduce, after you mesh a NURB, mesh into Rhino. And what you can do here, this particular one has 60,912 polygons on it. So let's reduce it by 25%. You can actually give it a little countdown here. It'll give you the percentage. Almost there. There we go. So now we can see how reducing it actually made more triangles but in fact, we didn't really lose much resolution off it. And we get kind of dense ones because the curvature gets pretty heavy down in these really convex areas. So now let's go for an extreme. Let's copy and paste this one over, reduce it again. And let's go really crazy since it, we only reduced it by about half. It was 60,000 now, we're at 30. 
Let's reduce it by 75%. This is a good way to uh, make a really curvy model uh, more faceted. Now this one will go a lot faster since we're taking out so much more. Well, semi faster. Almost there. There we go. So now we're getting quite a few more triangles. And actually, we have corrupted geometry because we can see inside it. That's kind of a. Uh, one of the bad parts of working in Rhino, just due to the fact that it's a NURB surface and geometry program, but when you start mesh messing with meshes, it can get a little tricky sometimes. So let's do a 90% on this one. And now we're gonna really lose a lot of detail, as well as a few faces out of this whole kind of modified sphere. So as you can see here, it's really far gone and deteriorated. But anyway, now let's say we want to bring this component back to NURBS. Well, since it's already broken up into panels, you can't bring it back to one singular surface. But what you can do is make it into a poly surface. And to do that is come over to the mesh, poly surface from mesh. So that'd be a right click on this button. Now we end up with polysurfaces. Now what we can do with these is explode them and we're able to modify a NURB surface. Now again, this here is a polysurface made up of many little teeny tiny components. This, what we started with, is one singular surface. So we kind of went full circle from one single to many, to smaller, to smaller, to a reduced, kind of uh, deteriorated model, to even more, to even more, to a polysurface that actually is deteriorated as well. 